Hello guys, this is TechDube and today I am going to tell you how to fix the heating issues and performance in Xiaomi's Mi 4 on MI UI 7. So let's start. First of all, we need a, a flashable zip file which is called the kernel file uh, and the link of that file is in the description down below. So check that out and so without further late let's go into the updater app and reboot into recovery so let's wait so let's flash go to your downloaded directory in my case uh, that file is in the UC downloads because I used uh, the UC downloader as you can see this is the file name gkmi4w only mm and one thing about this kernel is that the the file is compatible for the uh, marshmallow also so if you uh, have a marshmallow or lollipop you can flash this file so let's flash and there is no need to wipe uh, cache and delivery cache just simply reboot the phone So phone is rebooted and let's go into the settings about phone as you can see the kernel name the 3.4.0 turn 93 this is the kernel name God's kernel so and if you want to manage uh, the kernel uh, configuration so there is an app called uh, a kernel auditor which is very helpful in managing the configuration of the kernel and there are many sections CPU, CPU voltage, CPU hot plug, GPU, screen, sound, battery, IO scheduler, kernel same page, same page merging low memory killer, virtual memory, entropy, uh, miss controls, plugins. In the CPU section you can manage the maximum and the minimum CPU frequency and uh, CPU governor also. In CPU voltage section you can set uh, different voltages uh, at different frequencies and in the CPU hot plug section we can change the default CPU hot plug from MP decision. Uh, by default, the MP, de MP decision is the default, um, but you can change it, change it to the MP decision hot plug, MSM hot plug, in which we have the choice of choosing how many CPU kernel will be online, maximum or minimum. You can set the maximum core offline at the screen of time and the next section is the GPU section where you can manage the maximum and the minimum frequency of the GPU and the GPU governor also and in screen section you can manage the saturation intensity and screen value, screen contrast and RGB values and in the sound section you can manage the headphone gain microphone gain and camcorder microphone gain speaker gain in battery section uh, you can enable or disable the fast charging mode which is very useful uh, for the fast charging 
and in IOS IO scheduler uh, section you can manage the IOS scheduler and you can also tune, uh, tune it by uh, your choice and, and this is a, a new feature which is called kernel same page merging uh, which is now a new feature so I don't know how to use it so don't mess with up and the other section is the low memory killer which is not a good not a useful feature and there are other features also uh, but those are not use, so useful in daily usage and in miss control we have dynamics f-sync gentle fair sleeper power suspend mode and tcp congestion algorithm and this option is useful in the network speed you can manage your TPC, uh, tcp congestion algorithm by default the cubic is enabled and these are the way clocks so don't mess with that so this is it so that's it guys for today and stay tuned for more videos this is techdube signing off